Alrighty, ho friends. I'm Enviroboy. I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy again. Uh, wait, hold on. Where are my buttons? Um, this is my third episode in a row. And I'm... Wait, wait, hold on. I'm trying to use this. It's not letting me use it. Oh, wait. Do I need to wait for it to be like nighttime or something? Like, back off. Yeah, okay. Well, hold on. Let's wait till nighttime. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna try that. We're gonna... I'm gonna finish. I'm, this is my third uh, episode. I'm... Um, recording in a row here um <clears throat> which means i might be a little loopy i might be a little wackadoodle about it all um but we're here and i'm going to see if we can't finish collecting everything there is to collect here okay i can't use this apparently i don't know why or not i don't know what it is necessarily no go ahead go ahead and fall down break your ankles thank you He's a big baby. I don't want to fall. It looks like it'll hurt. <laughs> I'm just assuming that that's what Belinda would have said. Which, okay, fair cop, but at the same time, grow up. Okay, sometimes you have to make sacrifices in order to, like, you know, pilfer an entire school's worth of supplies. Okay? And that's exactly what we've set out here to do. All right, are you going to do it? Thank you. Oh, that's not how you get in there. Huh? Okay. Ah, we can go in through here, maybe? Okay, um... Not... Oh, wait, I see... Oh, I see where I am. I'm just at a different part of the map than I thought I was. Ah, okay. Well, that, that actually makes it all easier for me. Good, I wanted it like that. I right, like that. That's how I... That, that's... I, I'm... Yeah, I'm glad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Totally happy and glad and happy about it. Right, anyway, yeah, I want to finish. I want to try and make sure we finish off all of the collecting of stuff um, <clears throat> within the Hogwarts grounds here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I got a little piece of pretzel stuck in my throat. I had tiny, a tiny, just a little tiny little baby snack between uh, recording episodes here. That's just even though I I typically do uh, the intermittent fasting, so I usually don't eat anything until dinner time. But this week, this week with all of the move and everything that I've been doing, I've been kind of Rebellion. letting myself handle things. Oh, oh, are we going to see our little, is that where the, the, what are they called? Thestrals? Thestrals, that's right. Where oh, these guys are, I wonder if we get to see them. Um, I mean, presumably they're there. Why would they put them there if we didn't get to see them? Dad Diary, mood apathetic. Life is just spiraling downwards right now. I didn't get tickets to go to the Blood Red Romance and Suffocate Me Dry concert. Sucks because they're my favorite band. Anyway, dear, dear diary. Each day it becomes more difficult to put on a brave face as I care for my beloved Hogwarts. Daily it seems I stumble upon yet another demigod statue. <laughs> oh no! Who is behind this? Whom have I wronged as to such extent that they must now torture me with these foul things? I despair. Ever since I encountered that horrible creature in Hogsmeade, I have been unable to sleep. I fear I am not only distracted from my duties by these blasted statues, but I may also be looking rather worse for the wear without my requisite eight to nine hours of slumber. I must remain steadfast. I falter. To whom will these students look for guidance in these magical halls? Oh, buddy. Hogwarts would, be cert would certainly fall into a state of utter chaos if I were to abandon my post. Oh, even one day, I must remain strong for students. Oh, Hogwarts. The prestigious writings of Gladwin Moon. What a guy. What a guy. I love him even more than I already did. <laughs> what what an absolute hero that guy is. Um <laughs> uh, poor buddy. Do feel a little bad, but not bad enough to like make a need to like really care, but bad enough to be like, oh poor buddy. You know? Exactly what I'm doing right now. Um I'm gonna actually go back up here. I'm thinking just blowing of where the map is, because all of those things are gonna be taking me further away from not hog or, or not Hagrid's hut here um it's interesting that uh apparently within um where we are now within the story um they're not qualifying this as like the the games keepers well i mean maybe it's the game keeper i don't know maybe they differentiate between the great games keeper and the ground keeper groundskeeper or whatever um you know maybe they are doing that hard to say i don't really know what the logic of any of this stuff is um i think we've gotten more um 
blocks to get in here, which we've largely used. But I think, now see what I don't know if I've collected. It. Probably a field guide page flapping around, around out here. I may have already gotten it though. Oh, collection updated somehow. Oh, hey, look at that. Hey, look at you little guys. They look like little dodos. That's super cute. Um, I must have already gotten the page that it says is around here, because I don't see it flip flapping around. So we're gonna we're gonna assume that I got. Oh wait, hold on. What's this? Hello, Hamora. I'm gonna going to release the beasts. I'm just releasing the birds. That's not the bird cage. That's got the magical. It's got the magical Dracula tiger in it. He he consumes blood. Which isn't exactly different from a regular tiger, but like it just sounds more sinister when you describe it that way. You know, I mean, like, because like a regular tiger eats, you know, eats blood when it hunts and stuff, but like, but at least that it's only like sort of incidental because it's going for the meat. And when you do it this way, when you go for the. When you release the, the vampire one, just like it only cares about the blood. It's all that it cares about. Look, that's one of the skulls. Look at the vampire teeth. All right, sorry. Anyway, like I said, I'm, I'm, I, I've recorded a lot of episodes. Oh, that's super cute. Um, I've I've recorded a few episodes already, so I don't I don't typically go on quite this long of like marathon recording sessions. Um, I'm doing it today because I have the time and the freedom to do it, and then. Uh, starting tomorrow, I will likely not have the time and the freedom to do it. So I'm getting as much recording in as I can now. Let me go through this door. Aha! Grant me the russet motley gob. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get as much recording in now as I can. So that way I can still, like, be caught up with all of my, uh, my sort of backlog that I try to keep. Um, of recorded and, and ready to go episodes, so that way when I'm inevitably too busy to hi there, can I ride you. Thestral, cool. I find the Thestrals to actually be kind of a cool and fascinating creature concept. Um, I don't know, maybe that's just know, like more. the emo part of me talking, but um. The, 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 the concept art of them, I think, is really cool. The, like, bone-thin black horses, like they are. I just, I think it's neat. I just think they're neat. And that, like, the, the Marge Simpson. I don't, I don't do an exceptionally good Marge Simpson, but... It's not the worst, right? Bloody meat! Oh no, the vampire tiger's been here! At first glance, one might be inclined to alert the authorities regarding this site. Rest assured, however, that this is merely bloody meat used to feed the Thestrals. <laughs> yeah, just left out in the open. They like it rotting. Actually, that would actually kind of make sense when you think about it. Like, they're, you know, creatures that are always kind of present when there's, like, death and decay and stuff. Uh, so that, that actually could kind of track. Um, not that they're, like out of their way to be violent and horrible or anything. It just makes sense. It just makes Hello, sense. Hamora. Hello, Hamora. I wouldn't mind having a Thestral as a pet. Like, if I could choose a magical creature to have as a pet, a Thestral would not be my last choice. Probably not my first choice, but it wouldn't be my last choice. My first choice would be those vampire tigers. I know I just made them up, but I'm declaring them canon in my head. You know, a, a term called head canon was. Oh no, not more Wiganweld potions. Wiganweld potions, I'm generally content. Like, say, like, okay, well. But I do want to grab this. We need change up. We need to swap and put our Lumos spell there. Lumos. I think looks like the butterfly. Oh wait, oops, I think I went the wrong direction. Butterfly is supposed to be somewhere around.
sound like if we go sorry i bumped the microphone there that was and that was like my that was directly me hitting the receiver of the microphone not just like hitting the boom arm or something that one probably like really legitimately deafened some people so my bad my bad and i recognize that that's something that i could you know we can fix it in post we i could i could fix that in post but i'm i won't it's not anything to do with like whether or not I care about you. It has everything to do with the fact that I'm don't know how to, and I'm too lazy to try and learn. That's why I don't edit. I mentioned a while back. Oh hey, look at them. We'll need that at some point. I mentioned earlier that I I don't edit. I don't like. I was I think it was the last episode. Maybe it was two episodes ago. I don't remember. Um, but I mentioned that I don't ever watch back or do any editing of my. Uh, of my own uh, uh, show, my own episodes, um, and that, you know, that's, it's, a mo it's primarily because of laziness. Like I said, I said when I started doing all of this, started making Let's Plays, that I am only doing it, I am very explicitly doing it because I think it's fun to make Let's Plays. Oh wait, that was the Wigan Weld one, so I don't care that we can't do that stuff. I, I'm doing it explicitly because it's fun to make Let's Plays. I enjoy doing it. Um, and there's not a single other reason that I'm doing this. Uh, so the second that I start doing uh, anything for any reason beyond that it's fun, I've, I've failed. Like, I have failed in my goal. Because my goal was to just do this, like, and just have fun with it. I, I never cared about trying to make a ton of money or, or be famous or anything. It's just strictly because, like, because I, I enjoy watching Let's Plays. Let's Plays are some of my favorite content to watch. Like, and that includes just, like, you know, television shows and stuff. I really enjoy, I really enjoy Let's Plays. I think it's fun to watch other people. Whoops, I need to do this so we can put our sneaky, I don't know, might not go for it if I just put it right here um, but I enjoy watching let's plays I enjoy watching other people play games and seeing what their sort of reactions and thoughts are on the game I think it's I think it's very fun I think it's good entertaining stuff and so with that in mind that was what I I was like you know what and I like these enough that I would like to participate in the creation of more of them and so that's what I set out to do um, I'm here making more, uh, making Let's Plays to add to the, like, infinitely large collection of Let's Plays, putting my, you know, doing it my own way, doing it the way that I like it, adding the commentary that, you know, I feel like adding, which is sometimes funny, sometimes a bit more thoughtfully focused on the game. I find that a lot of times Let's Players will be either, like, too focused on the game, uh, for my tastes, to the point that it can kind of be dull, because they don't ever talk about anything other than what's happening on the game. Or they're not focused enough on, on the game. And so you never really, like, see them actually enjoy it. And, like, one of the biggest things for me um, is you don't... Like, I, I notice a lot that Let's Players are very focused on getting through the game quickly so they can move on to produce more. And that's one of the reasons why I know I'll never be famous and all that kind of stuff and never be one of the... You know, top the upper echelons. Never, never rubbing elbows with the Markipliers and the and the PewDiePies. You know, of the Let's Play world. Did, did PewDiePie ever do Let's Plays? Was he always just? He might have just been streaming. I don't. Re I don't really remember. I never really got into his stuff personally. Um, but I know that like there's a push within it because of the way the algorithms work and because of the way that you know audiences, uh, attention spans of a golden retriever, which is non-existent. Uh, work is that you kind of have to be constantly making new stuff. You can't just be making, you know, some people can get away with it being, you know, like, I don't, it, it sounds mean to put it this way, but sort of essentially a one trick pony. Some people can get away with it, you know, by just like playing one game. I mean, there's like, there's people like Lil Simsy who can make stuff, make, uh, Rebellion. oh, there is something right around here. Uh, aha! Uh, that can, you know, just play one game and make a living off of it. Um, but that's rare, and most people try to be variety shows and play lots of different games. And I find that frustrating because they don't actually take their time to really explore and appreciate the games. And that's kind of what I set out to do. That's why we're sitting here doing completionist runs and recording it. Um, and it all comes down to, I think it's fun. I, I am making the content that I would like to watch. Um, I love being able to be part of a journey with a Let's Player that plays through a big game. 
I, you know, and for many, many episodes, I like doing that. I like to sit and watch that. So naturally I would want to, you know, produce some of that content as well. So that's what we're doing here. And I will continue this thought after I read about the castle ramparts. Along with the powerful protective enchantments, these defensive ramparts have been safeguarded Hogwarts Castle for centuries. The ancient rooms and corridors along the ramparts might be worth exploring as they harbor mysteries of their own. Oh, you mean the thing that I've been doing this whole time? Okay, yeah, good call. Um, <laughs> um anyway. Um, so yeah, so like that's, that, that's what I'm doing here is I'm just making the content that I like. I'm making the content that I enjoy. And, and I never ever wanted that to stop being true Rebellion. like that is really has been from day one of me trying this you know because i tried doing the streaming thing and streaming just didn't really work for me because the only way to really do it like the only way for it to be a relevant thing is for you to, to sort of chase the to chase the um I hear it. Where is it? To to chase the algorithms and chase the audiences. Rebellion. You know, it's kind of something that you have to do. Uh, glum 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 bumbles. Oh my gosh, that sounds so like this game in the N64 area. Bug Bumble. Does anyone else remember that game? I don't know. You can't answer me because that's that's one of the that's one of the few downsides of Let's Plays is there's not a live audience so that I can't really interact with you, which is. Reassuring in some ways, but also a letdown when I'm sitting here thinking about Bug Bumble. Oh my gosh, I had like one of the catchiest intros ever. Like, look up the intro song for Bug Bumble or like the main menu screen song. Ah, oh, it was the, one of the catchiest things in the world. The game was like fun, sure, but what I really always loved as a kid was the song. I thought the song was so fun. Anyway, Glum Bumbles are magical flying insects that produce a Trachel, which will cause melancholy if consumed. They feed on nettles and nest in dark and secluded places. Unfortunately, they are known to infest beehives, having devastating effect on the honey therein. So why are we keeping them? They sound horrible. Eradicate them, please. Um. Okay. Glum, glum bumbles. Yeah, seriously, that's like that sounds so much like the term bug bumble, which was a game. I don't even have a perfectly clear recollection of what the whole game was about and what it was. Um, I, you know, you were I, it had something to do with being a bug flying around and doing stuff. <laughs> and I was super detailed. So I'm sorry, I can't offer more than that. But gosh, that just that that really threw me back. That was there was there was some. Uh, yeah, so we have another one of these. This one's not even giving me the, the use option. Might be, I wonder if there's like something else about these that I don't have yet. Yeah, I don't know what those are. I don't know that we've encountered those yet. So, um, but the important thing is other than things that are tied to quests. Or, wait, oh, wait, hold on a second. That true. Wait, hold on. What's this? What's I'm missing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so things that are tied to quests. Or things that are tied to, um, to uh, dormitories that I can't get into because I'm a remedial Hufflepuff. I'm not one of the, you know, I'm not one of the honor student Ravenclaws. I'm not a jock, uh, a, a jock, uh, Gryffindor. Nor am I a bully Slytherin. Um, <laughs> the stereotypes we discussed it in a past episode of me being inflammatory and trying to sort of like semi-intentionally upset the entirety of the Harry Potter fandom. <laughs> uh, Rebellion. but uh yeah we've collected i think just about everything within hogwarts castle let me let's see here wait hold on let's see if it'll tell us here collections i think that's kind of where we went here tools good up there have like all of these uh that doesn't separate them up to like i i wanted to I, gosh i wish it would like separate them Oh wait, hold on, no wait, there's, there's, I know there's a way. Wait, maybe, um, challenges, that maybe? Combat? Oh, hey, look at, we can grab all these things. Ah, ba -doo. Ba -boo. And the rest of those are things that we're working on. Okay, so combat, nothing, quests. 
complete assignments. We're working, we're making progress. Um, exploration of Hogwarts secrets. Oh man, we're getting close. Um, one more Hogwarts secret. Pop balloons. Collecting uh, magic traces. So those, I don't think those were really around in Hogwarts. Field guide pages though, we're getting really close. Pages in Hogsmeade. Hogwarts, yeah, we got them all. Look at that. Collect 50. I'm assuming that means we got them all. For the, to have collected 50 of them. And like all of them, they're like, it, it has to be. Get the Hogwarts regalia robes. Okay. Sweet. We did that. I feel like I got room, room of requirement. I wonder if maybe it's in the map that we can check. Hogwarts map. Yeah, there we go. Oh my gosh. There's still nine more. Okay, astronomy tables we haven't done. There's nine more? What am I missing? Nine? Insanity. I wonder if those are all just ones that are in the... Uh, in the places I can't access yet. Office and in there. There's at least one. There's at least a couple in the headmaster's office. That must be it. Yeah, because that one's like a slow. Yeah, they must. There must just be like, I don't know, two or three per. Yeah, if there's only like two or three per house, I mean, you put two per house and then two in the headmaster. That automat that already gets you up to eight. So there's just one extra maybe around in there. So yeah, that must be at astronomy tables. That maybe that's what the thing that I couldn't interact with, uh, was, um, that it was like saying that I should, but I couldn't, and that might be tied to something else in collection chests again. And the other, so okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm a little less panicked about it. The demi guy statues, it's fine. We like go in. No, it does. Oh, yeah, it will the astronomy. Oh, see, there's one more. There's a field guide page left in the astronomy wing. You guys understand how close I am to like trying to go back here and seeing which one I missed? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. I feel like that's gonna be as good a use of what time is left on this episode as anything else. Trying to figure out <laughs> which ones I'm missing. At least it has that to help break it down. If it didn't have that, I wouldn't bother. I'll, I will be. I will be so completely honest with you guys. Like if I didn't have that, I w I definitely wouldn't bother. What are you up to now? Nothing. Leave me alone. They're so accusatory. Um. Because the thing that's difficult with the field guide pages, too, is I'm pretty sure that the field guide pages can be linked to... Like, they can be linked to the... To, to uh, statues. They can be linked to... Um, uh, to... Uh, um, the, 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 the brazers. The, they can be linked to... They can just be the ones that are, like, flitting, flitting, flying, flapping around. Like, I'm not hearing any of the little, like, twinkly noises, so... It's not just one of the... ones that you're supposed to... I keep kind of looking up to see if there's just, like, one flying around that I missed somehow. Um... Rebellion. Like, I'm trying to look, because I feel like it's usually pretty good about two giving you the, like, if there's still something to collect, it'll give you the, the hint of, like, the blue or the yellow something or other, like, around on the map so you can still see it. Oh, no, that's just the blue network thing. Um, but we can... Let's check. There wasn't anything in here, right? Oh, gosh, I wish there was something that would, like, make it a bit more plain for me so I could definitely know whether I've, like, what I've missed or where I've missed it. Because this is the thing. I could do this, and if there is something that's tied to, like, the the progressing the story, like a class assignment or something like that, then I'm never going to find it. That's a room requirement. No secret. Rebellion. You working on there, dude? Like trying to light your book on fire or something? Lord. Here. 
still definitively part of the astronomy tower, though. I mean, look at this place. Um. Um. Rebellion. Nothing around here. Obviously, that's an obvious mistake. It found. Yeah, we found this. Yeah, and it would give me the little twinkle if. Oh wait, hold on. There's a chest over there. Oh, it's just a wig and weld potion. This then. Okay, then nothing. Yeah, we unlocked that. Oh, this is gonna be maddening. This is going to be absolutely maddening to me. I worked so hard to find everything! You're not, like, one of the statues. You? Oh, okay. The arms class. Hold on, am I still in... Where, where am I in the map right now? Still in the astronomy wing. It's the astronomy wing is such a big area too. The way they have all these things. Hold on, bell tower. Just like check all of the wings here. Bell tower wing has two, which might be related to like um, Ravenclaw or something. Um, in class lawn courtyard. Oh, that's where the astronomy table is. Okay, they're counting that out there, I see. Okay. So, what about Grand Staircase? Grand Staircase, we're missing four of the field guide pages. And, fo damn, we're missing a bunch of the collection chests. Okay. Oh, wait, no, but those are, I think those are related to, like, probably Slytherin or something. Whoops, okay, I guess I'm traveling there. Oh, man, who am I kidding? I'm never going to be able to find all of these. Ah, oh, but I'm so close. I wanna, I wanna 100% it, man. I wanna do that. Maybe what I'm finding here is I need to wait until we can definitively go in all of the locations. Um, Revelio. Because Revelio now is gonna be so unhelpful because of how much stuff we've managed to find around here, you know. Oh, it's so maddening, though. Are you kidding me with this? Oh, it's it hurts. It it damages me. All right. Um. Uh, five. We're missing five in the grand staircase. Great hall. How many are we missing there? One. Oh, gosh, I wish you could like narrow it down even more or something. Hey, at least we got that one. We got, we got, so we got the south wing all figured out. Secret rooms? Is, is there anything? Yeah, I was gonna say, rooms probably won't have it. Library annex, what are we missing there? Missing one collection chest. One collection chest in the, uh, yeah, and it's not gonna show. Okay, well, I'm, I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try and commit to it, man. Because seeing how widespread they are, actually, it doesn't, I don't think it does make sense that they would be tied to classrooms or anything like that, or, um, to, uh, uh dormitories or anything like that. I feel like it's gotta be that they're around here somewhere. Hold on, what, what are all the lists of places here? The annex, we got potions, classroom, library, greenhouse, central hall, and divination. Oh my gosh, this is going to just absolutely destroy me. This is going to destroy my mental health. Like, I hope everyone understands. Oh my gosh. I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is going to ruin me. This is going to absolutely ruin me. Oh. I can't, I can't believe this. I can't believe this is happening to me. <laughs> okay, here's what I want to do. There's one thing that I think we should be able to do. And that is, if we go to the Great Hall, Hufflepuff Common Room. I know we should be able to at least turn in the last of our little 
like discs or plates or whatever we were collecting for Hufflepuff and finish getting whatever's in that chest. I don't know what's in the chest. I, have, I, I never looked up to see like what is actually contained in there. Where is that? Out here somewhere is it like in? Yeah. Let's do that. Here we go. The last house token. Time to see what's inside. Yeah, I want to know what's inside there. Oh, I was for a second. I was like, is it gonna make me figure out what the answer is to that? All right, what did I get? Quest update: The Dedalian Key is great. Well, look at that. Thanks goes to the former headmistress, Eupraxia Mole. Okay. That's a letdown. I was kind of... Like, I mean, okay, hold on. Like, let's let's see here. Uh, no, sorry, I didn't mean map. I went inventory. Let's see what... Let's just see what it's like. Got the... Unidentified... Oh, is it just an appearance thing? Is that all it is? Is that... Is that really all it is? Is it just appearance? Um, collections. Yep, it's just appearance. Buff relic house uniform. I want to be honest with you. I'm a little disappointed by that. I would have, I would have preferred it if it were at least like a functional item. <laughs> I want to be, I want to be honest. I'm a, little, it's a it feels like a bit of a letdown. A little bit of a letdown. Just a tiny bit. Just a little bit. Just a bit. A bit. Only a bit. Only a bit. A bit. Not entirely. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Fine. I wonder if. Challenges. I wonder if, um, I'm sorry, not challenges, collections. Go to collections. Conjuration one handles traits, tools, enemies, appearances, Revelio pages. Revelio pages. Hogsmeade. Okay. Hogwarts. This might be my key to being able to find the ones that I've missed. So you have yet to discover that. I can see what Revelio pages I've missed, probably. And then hunt them down and find the locations. I'll have to find another guide, and I... I'll do that off screen. I'm not going to do that right now, I don't think. Um, I think. Yeah, because. Thing of it is. I, uh, do. Yeah, so I think if I find a good list, I can, but I'll need to like actively make a short list of them uh, to figure out how to get them. And because I don't, I don't want to sit here because to go through and clean out all of these is going to be pretty intense. Um, so it's like, okay, Revelio pages, we got those ingredients. What's this? Conjurations, wand handles, rates, rates that I've collected. Oh, gee, oh, geez. There's... Oh, it's just so many beasts. Look at the little thing. It's like, oh, oh man. <laughs> um, the, oh, Revelio pages. Yeah, I was right. Appearances. So. Quests. Additional content. Um, Undration. Ingredients. Rooms. Wand handles. Those are going around. Rates, Elio pages. Um, we're just trying to figure out how we could find any of like the statues and stuff. Are those? Are those? Wait, hold on. Let me see here. Uh, um, because if we go to where's my map? Where's, if we look at it here. What are they calling those? Field guide pages. Is that the same as? Hold on. Let me. I, I'm sorry, like, I just, I need to understand what I'm, what is happening here. Field guide pages. So, like, I've collected enough to, like, get the... So, maybe... So, wait, hold on. If there were... Let me go back. Um... This was the collection was. Velio pages. How many in Hogwarts am I missing of these? Let's see what it says. This is the Hogwarts section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's just Revelio pages. So I did get all of the actual like collections, the statues, and all that kind of stuff. I did get all of those. It's just the Revelio pages that I missed. 
So I can probably pull up a list of, like, I'm just going to do a quick Google search here. Hogwarts, the Leo page. I bet you there's a really good guide that I can find without much, uh, that I can use to help find all this stuff. Yeah, there we go. Immediately, immediately I found an amazing guide for this. Oh man, I love, oh man, it's got like all of the things here. Oh great, oh, oh, this is awesome. Oh, it's great, oh, it's so good. Oh, we love this. Oh, we love it. Here, that have them broken down. Okay, yeah, it's got to be broken down by Hogsmeade. Oh, it's got to be broken by, not just by like, oh, oh, oh. We can find them like all of the Hogwarts. Okay, no, we're going to do this. We're going to, we're going to get this done. We're going to get this done. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Um, <laughs> you guys are going to have to sit here and watch me do this. Not the, I won't do them all right now, but we're going to get them all done. Astronomy wing. We need to go to the astronomy wing. Um, uh, so we want to go to, let's just go to astronomy tower. Um, and we can find... Let me, I wonder if they've got them organized even in our collections thing. But even so, like, with having them up here, it should be pretty easy to, to find them all. Um, the only thing I'm wondering... Yeah, we want to sort by sort sheet A to Z. That's what I want, right? That's what I want. Yeah. We're in the astronomy. Wait, hold on. Why is it not actually that way then? Why aren't you doing what I want you to do? Um. Oh, because I see. Because it's counting the T for the astronomy wing. Got it. Okay. Um. The one thing now that might help. Um. Let's get to our pause here. Go to uh, collections here. How do they have these organized? Abstract of Barnabas, the ba Barnabas of Bar Barnaby. Astronomy telescope. Good. It has them organized by like alphabetically where you find them. Ah, that's amazing. Okay, so partial. So we got that one. Ah, uh, wait. Do we? Oh shoot. Maybe it's not quite like that. Ah, uh, here I thought it was gonna be amazing. Um, uh, I thought it was gonna have me have me covered. No, but it's not gonna operate that way. Okay, I, this is gonna take more work. I am I am gonna have to make a short list. Um, so I won't I won't worry about that for now. Instead, for now, instead for now, let's do a little bit of housekeeping. Let's go to our map. Um, let's get ourselves secret room. Let's go ahead and identify. We do have a few things uh, that we can identify. Let's do that. We'll go sell some stuff in Hogsmeade. And then if there's any time left, we can start collecting up a few things that we might be able to find in Hogsmeade. We'll do that because I am going to have to take the time to do a little bit. Of, oh, man, those are all just a real letdown. Um, yeah, we're going to have to do... Uh, I'm going to have to go through and make myself a short list of all the ones that I still need to find and where to find them. Um, but we will do that. Just not today. I I am going to make sure that we in some way, shape, or form get ourselves a a full, like, all the collections collected collectively run through. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that happens. Um, and don't worry... Like, if you're like, no, 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 you don't, you really don't need to do that for me, or we, we don't need you to do that. Don't worry. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for me. I am, it is, it is not an exaggeration when I say that, like, that, coming that close and then not succeeding would be the biggest disappointment of my life. I mean, okay, maybe not the biggest disappointment, biggest disappointment of my life. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm not going to get that dark and deep about stuff, but just uh, suffice to say, uh, a lot more tragic things legitimately have happened to me than that. But when it comes to just like my contentedness and enjoyment of video games, very few things can upset me as much as that. So we will eventually handle that. But for now, I am going to stay focused 
on doing stuff that I can do at the moment, and right now that means going about Hogsmeade and trying to uh, find everything that we can. So let's see, I want to get rid of those out. I'm going to pull those out. All right, and there's a lot of stuff again that I probably will have already sort of collected as I start going through here. Um, but Hogsmeade should be quicker than the rest of everything because it is significantly smaller. That's the whole that's the whole thing that's going to be nice about this. So, I just need to make sense of where I am. Fun part about this actually, the way they have the map uh, for the the guide that I'm using is much more in league with the map of Hogsmeade as it is. So this will actually make it a bit easier to keep track of where I am and where I should be looking for stuff. So if we're in uh, Pippin's Potions here, Rebellions. here are the tingalingaling, but I don't think it's in here. A young might need when it comes to yeah, okay, so we have found uh, J. Pippin's Potions there by the looks of it. There's a chest somewhere around here though. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. The thing that we've already collected. Yeah, so we're probably going to find a lot of things that we've already collected around here. And that's okay. That is a-okay. I think that bag, I think we've largely collected that. But, hey, you know, the, the nice thing about this is it does seem to be set up in a way that it'll be pretty easy for us to just kind of go from building to building and collect things. So we'll just kind of casually do this a little bit. And I will have my short list ready to go probably for the next episode I record. Um, but that's that's all well and dandy, right? It's all It's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. We're just having fun playing games. Um, yeah, so allegedly there's an eye chest around here somewhere. Um, allegedly. Allegedly. No, that's ignorant. That's ignorant. Bitch, it's like around here. Hold on. I'm just going to be preemptive about this. I bet it's somewhere around here. Oh. Apparently not. There, I thought I was getting clever. I thought I was going to be a sneaky boy. Clever little sneaky boy about it, but nope. Where is that? It gam it appears in the mini map. This is behind the house. I think I already grabbed this chest somehow, did I? Um well, allegedly there's one. Oh, hey, hold on, hold on. Yeah, we got that sucker right there. Oh, it's right there. I was looking at the wrong house. That's why. Grammy Ardenids. Okay, I see. Okay, cool. And so then that means that was the field there. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I see where I am. And then we can undo that. All done, all done sneaking around for the moment. Then maybe there's some stuff in here? There's a lock to unlock. Oh, I see. I see where I am. Oh boy, these maps, man. The maps in this game are real, are, are real, a real, a real joy, a real delight, a real wonderful, uh, pleasant little, little scamp of a system. And when I say all of that, what I mean is uh, the maps aren't that great in this game, and I kind of wish that that was different. <laughs> I wish that they, I wish that the maps were great, because I like great maps. Um, you know what's gonna be nice about collecting stuff in here, though, is okay. Oh, it's a Wigan Weld. Okay. Uh, the thing that's gonna be nice about collecting things all up in here is that uh, we are going to be very very prepared to go sell everything as we need to. So, okay, I'm looking at the time, and I think we've killed enough time. I've, I've managed to to waste enough of your time to legitimately consider it a, uh, a, a full episode. Uh, so I think that means I'm going to say uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, love and appreciate all of you. Um, when you set out, here's parting words. When you set out to do something, don't settle for, you know, a B plus just like, you know, like I'm talking about, I'm not going to settle for coming close to 100% completion. No, 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 no. We set out to do something. We're going to do it. And I don't mind asking for help, okay? That's another bit of advice. Don't 
be afraid to ask for help. Certainly try to do things on your own, but if something is at a point where you're just like, man, oh man, this seems insurmountable, that's when you can ask for help. I'm doing it sarcastically in this game by using guides, uh, and I'm doing it in real life by asking friends and family to come help me move because it's a stressful process and it's going to be way more enjoyable if I have people that I like around me and, you know, helping me so that it's a little less work on just me. So all of that being said, don't, don't be afraid to, like, ask for help, uh, especially if that's what it takes to, to, you know, complete the things that you want to complete and that mean something to you. So there you go. That's, that's, those are your parting words. So take, take that as you will. Okay. Love you. Bye.